Hello darling, welcome to your reading on this Sunday morning. So I am using two decks for this reading and I find myself doing this reading for a very handful of you. This message is very particular and probably won't resonate with all of you out there. So with all that said, I will be taking cards from this particular deck as well as some clarifying cards from here. I'm reading for a handful of you who are on a twin flame journey right now and have gone through the dark night of the soul, have gone through the first two stages of the ascension process and are now trying to figure out what is the mission of this twin flame connection. So if this is not you right now, then absolutely click off. There are other readings on my channel. There is a playlist called Twin Flames and Soulmate. You can look up other readings, but this is for a very handful of you, advanced twin souls that are trying to figure out their mission in this lifetime. Let's go. Let's do this. When I was shuffling off camera, I did see the justice card and there it is. As soon as I said that, look at that. I couldn't even finish my sentence. I did see the justice card show up. Your mission is to provide justice or to work towards a just society. You could be somebody in the legal profession, could be a first responder, somebody to do with um, the justice system. You could be a scholar. You don't have to be. Or your twin could be that. So justice is what you're about to bring to this planet in whatever small or bigger way that is. Doesn't matter. So justice is the first card. It's a lot of Libra energy here. Your second card. These cards fell, right? And they're all major arcana. Your second card is the high priestess, Pisces energy. This justice, this divine justice is the mission of your twin flame journey. And my darling, that this is why I said during the intro, this is not meant for everybody out there. Not everybody is advanced enough to tune into this reading. This is for a handful of you who are no longer obsessing about your person, who are no longer doubting about your person. You have ascended to a level of maturity, a level of divine maturity where you understand that the reason you have gone through everything in this twin flame connection is for a much bigger and higher purpose. And you're finally getting that information. That's where the high priestess is because high priestess is extremely, extremely intelligent. She doesn't say much. She doesn't have to. When you're that aware and when you know everything, when you know that you are yourself, the divine creation as well as the divine, when you know all of that, you don't have to speak. It's 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 almost like quiet. It's not almost like it is quiet confidence, right? When you know what you know and you know that to be true, you don't have to prove yourself. You don't need somebody's validation. You don't need someone to say, no, you're right. You're correct. That's your twin. This is your mission. You don't need all of that. And that's what the high priestess is about. And look at this. I couldn't have made up. I absolutely couldn't have scripted this reading if I wanted to. The sun, the moon, the divine masculine, the divine feminine. This is your journey. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Leo. These could be in your chart, in your person's chart, doesn't have to be. Look at these four major arcana, justice, high priestess, the moon, the sun. The two of you are coming together, balancing your yin and yang, balancing your feminine and masculine, balancing balancing, right? Balancing what else? Balancing the truth of the universe, the truth that should be the divine law that should prevail. So you are balancing the justice of man-made law versus the divine law. And what a beautiful message this is, given everything that is going on in the world right now with all the injustices, with all the, you know, um, everything in you know, all the oppression everything that's happening around the world right now those of you who are resonating with this message you will know you will know as soon as you see this card you these cards rather you will know all right let's take some cards 
from this mini deck and let's clarify these messages let's clarify these messages spirit can i get some clarifying cards although i don't think we need clarifying cards there we go the eight of wands and the knight of pentacles the eight of wands and the nine of Pen knight of pentacles this couldn't have been rushed. This is what Divine is saying. Although you wanted this relationship, maybe your, your person or you wanted this relationship to be a fast moving one. When there were periods of separation, although you didn't quite realize why you had to go through all, the, all that pain and that separation period. Divine is saying with the Knight of Pentacles that this had to be a slow, drawn out, slow burning process because you cannot get to the high priestess you cannot get to your divine feminine divine masculine power by rushing through a relationship good things in life takes time although you wanted things to move fast you are now glad that it took its time absolutely absolutely took its time because at the end of the day and I keep hearing this. My spirit guide is like, keep saying this, keep saying this over and over again. Your connection to your divine masculine is to provide justice to all the injustices that are happening around the world. Now, I cannot help, but, and this is again, very specific. Do you see the M and the A? M and A. The initial of your person could be M or A. Uh, those are runes, by the way, but I, I don't know. It could be your initial. It could be your person's initial. I'm seeing that. And, and Divine's like, can you please indicate that? So M and A. I don't know what that means. It could be significant for somebody. All right. One last card, Spirit. One last card. Can I get one last card? Wow. You have the Page of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yeah. The Page of Cups and the Seven of Swords, you thought your person is deceiving you. You thought your person, every time they went quiet on you, because they were processing so much. Listen, Divine Feminine, most of you are Divine Feminine. If it took you this long to get over this obsession and all these, you know, uh, codependentness, then can, can you imagine your Divine Masculine being... I shouldn't say slower than you, but for lack of a better terminology, slower than you in this process. It took them a lot to catch up. So if you felt there were deception in this connection, let me remind you that all of that, all the experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between, you had to go through so that you could ascend. Look at the bottom of the deck. You have chariots, another major arcana. You have the lovers. That's Gemini energy. This is Cancer energy. So finally, finally, as soon as you've balanced your divine femininity and divine masculinity, and as soon as you realized what your mission is, look how fast this is going and how fast this reconciliation. And your reconciliation is not just the physical reconciliation. It's not just moving in together and having baby reconciliation. Your reconciliation is about balancing the scale of justice. Even if you never reconcile physically in this lifetime, you, the two of you, although I, I don't think that's the case because I do believe in twins coming together, you know, lifetime after lifetime. They don't reincarnate every lifetime together. The ones that do reincarnate, they do come together. But that's not the idea. The idea is the reconciliation of your powers, your superpowers, so that you can balance the scale of justice. Oh my God. I knew I had to do this reading. I'm glad I've done this reading. I also think this is my this is a message for myself and my twin too. All right, my darling, if this resonates, and I know it will only resonate for a handful of you, let me know. As always, yours truly is right there, right beside you every step of the way.